Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. So it's a little off schedule, but the promos for October and November have hit TCG players, so I wanted to go over and see how they're looking from the start and see where it goes. And for today's Market Watch, what we're gonna do is just an overview on the promos set two and set one, as opposed to going too far into the singles specified. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So looking at promos, we can see that Aria Fairy Princess, I posted this yesterday, but it's finally hit along with the remaining of those promos like Gunmaid Syria, Balt King of the Elves, we've got Witch Bolt in here, and there are a few more that go further down. But let's take a look at how promos are looking. Demonic Strike is still at the top right now. 300 is the base listing. And market price is still 250. I'm pretty sure it's still only been the one sale. Yeah. So only one of these has sold for 250 at this point. Now let's take a look at Aria. Right now the base price is just under $100, and the first listing has three copies. There are five listings overall, and someone already sold a light plate copy. I feel for that guy getting a light plate out of your pack like that, and this thing just came out. But otherwise, we did have some early buyers. Looks like this did show up three days ago, and I missed it. Work has been really difficult these days, so I haven't had as much time to look into the market. $46, then $60, and one person did buy a $99 copy, but yeah, it looks like $50 is an easy sell. And then as for $100, it will probably be a little more difficult based off of what we're seeing now. Let's see, Path to Purgatory is next. We got six copies on that. Angelic Barrage, the promo version of this has two listings again. We're looking at $40 was the last sell, and then we had $30 sales overall. So nobody's bought for 50 yet on this one, and they're both 50, 69. That's funny. What else have we got? So the next one on the list is Gun Gunner Made in Syria. Nine listings and the base is 10. Market price is starting at 13. Vault King of the Elves is next. 10, 10. Market price and base. Witch Bolt, basically the same thing. And seven listings. Angelic Snipe we talked about last time. It's over $10 again, so... Yeah. The promo of Shapeshifting Mage from the first set of showdowns, that's $5 right now, but the market price is 10 so not selling too much. Precious Blood Fangs is a new one from October, November, $7 to start, market price 8 Beast Call Aria, this one is pretty cheap, starting at $6 and market price is also $6. Ultimately, as we get more of these promos, they'll end up like the first wave and be pretty cheap, except maybe Aria. Wild Fang Dragonute, also a five, six dollar card. Well, six dollars. Eight copies of that. Archangel Rena is also around that mark. Uh, let's see what else we got. Then we got Fighter, Lilith, Quick Blade, Floral Fencer. Basically, everything from here on out is two dollars and under. So, not much to talk about on that front. And there is actually a second page. Yeah, but there's nothing special on this one. So, yeah. One thing to note though, and I didn't realize this before, is that when it comes to the evolution points, apparently there was a misprint on the ones that came out of the decks where it's missing evolution point as the title. So there are versions of this which have evolution point as the title, and I'm not sure TCG Player really specifies that one. So just keep that in mind when you do buy these that you may end up getting the ones that are misaligned on the title. Let's go ahead and look at set two. Let's see, Amelia is still at the top with its market price, but Kaguya is currently the most expensive to pick up right now in terms of the ultimate rares. $93 on Kaguya, and Amelia is about 77 right now. Vania comes next at about 71. Olivia has a higher price than any of them and if anything except for Kaguya, it's 81 base, but its market price is 70. The ultimate rare of Tia is 60. Boxes of set 2 are now set 63. Bahamut's ultimate is about 61. 
Michelle Pierhearted Mind Reader has continued to drop off. I'm a little surprised on that one, but it's $38 base right now and 22 listings. So I don't see that really going up anytime soon. Let's see. On Bell of Mysteria, that one has also been going down. We're at $31 for this one. Then you've got Prim Adventuring Priestess, 30, it's still holding around $35 and has a few less listings compared to Michelle. So it's interesting to see that one holding out. Imperial Dragoons Evo, the ultimate rare has been dropping off though and is now 37, so a little bit lower. Dark Angel Olivia's regular version is still around 38. What else we got? Daria's SL, 27. Heavenly Aegis's SL, the regular one, 35. For then the Evo Super Legendary that is $19. We keep going down the regular versions SL for Daria that is $21. Dragon Song Flute 30. And quantities are not looking too are not looking too bad, so they'll hold at prices or continue to go down in these cases. The Super Legendary of Bahamut, $19. Heavenly Aegis is legendary, the regular one. It's been dropping a little bit more, now $19 base and 25 listings, but it's still holding around there. The Super Legendary of Alexander is now a $16 card. And we keep going. Let's see. Uh, Soul Dealer. Super Legendary is the Evo 15 and the base 25. What else have we got? Tia is 11 for its Super Legendary. The regular Alexander's 12. Imperial Dragoon, the super legendary of the base form, is only $10. Poor guy. Okay, Dragon Song Flute is still a $10 card for its regular legendary. If you want the super legendary of Tia's Evo, that's $4. But then the ultimate rare exists, so no surprise that that's so cheap. Daria's regular legendary is 6 Surefire Bullet is still around $6 too. The regular Tia is also around four. Draco Mancer Rights Foil. There are two copies of this at 14 right now. I'm assuming nobody bought them. People did buy it at 10 and $9 though, so $10 doesn't seem to be too bad for this one. The super legendary of the Evo Imperial Dragoon, I feel for whoever pulled that, it's only $4. What else have we got here? I think that's about gonna cover it. Okay, Crystalia Lily's foil, that has dropped off to 10. Let's see if it's actually been selling. Uh, nope, it's still only sold for $6 at the high, so we're not there yet. What else have we got? Anything of note? Bay is still $10. Where are we at with that one? Oh, players have been buying this, the foil base for $9. Okay, that's something. So far, it looks like it may have just been, no, 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 there are, I forgot, you only play three copies of a card in this game. So six copies overall sold for 8 to $9 on this one. Yep, so it is going. What else have we got? The Evo version of it, though, is only $3. Uh, we already talked about Unicorn Radiance before. The Evo of Crystalia Lily is still around 5. Uh, and I think that just about covers it. Not much more happening on set 2. Let's go to set 1 and see what's been happening. Zealous Wings is still at the top when it comes to base listing and market price, but I don't think these have really been selling. Uh, a, 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 about a week back... $138, and that's about that. But it's overall just dropping off in value. Same goes with Aurelia. Let's see how this has been doing now that Swordcraft has been getting a bit of a boon. Also just about a week back, but it's been selling for around 130 140 So still on a downtrend, but yeah, that's still going. We talked about how the starter deck leader cards have really all been dropping off. Raminia, I am curious about this one. Let's see. 124.69 is the base. Over a week ago, it sold for 150, though. 
and we look at available listings on this one 130 to 140 are the low listings available for this aria dancing fairy is still holding around 100 so not much has changed on that front let's see Juno's Secret Laboratory is still 57 for its ultimate rare. Market price is just underneath that. The Super Legendary of the base form of server is $50, so not much change. Otohime Ultimate Rare, around 35. Medusa Ultimate Rare, also around 36. What else? We're looking at Gabriel. I mean, this card has never been too expensive, but I love its artwork. I pulled it, and I'm happy I pulled it, because now I don't have to buy that. But even so, buying it is not too bad at 27 for an ultimate rare. The legendary, the regular version of Merlin has dropped off again, and it's now $17. Cerberus Super Legendary, this one dropped off from its hype. Now it's $17, so back to where it used to be, which is good. John the Ark's Super Legendary is 15 right now. Let's see. Aura Regal Saber Super Legendary about 12. The regular Cerberus base has dropped off to 14, so it basically holds around the $15 mark, which is not bad. Execution is still a six seven dollar card right now. And anything else? Dark General is up here at about six dollars for its foil. And we keep looking. We talked about Made Leader before. It's still around $6 for its foil. The foil of Dimension Shift is around $5, $6. Not bad. Hmm. Not too much else, I'd say. Shenlon, about $5 for the foil. The regular Evo of Cerberus is pretty cheap to pick up at $3.50 to 4 Trail of Light, we talked about that. It's basically a $4 card now, but it does have a lot of quantities. Fairy Circle, it's good to see that we finally got a drop off from the buyout that we saw before, but let's see how many copies there are. One left under $4, then we've got $6 when you count shipping, and then it's $10 again. So if you do want a under $5 copy, there is one available right now. And Erd has been dropping off a bit too on the Evo. It's now three fifty as compared as compared to the five dollars it was before. And I guess we'll wrap it up with taking a look at Blazing Brett's foil. This one has nine listings, four dollars sales, three dollars sales, and right now it's five dollars base. I mean, Blazing Breath is great for the for control, given that it's either two or four damage, and it's only a one cost, so. Get rid of a pesky ward for Genesis Dragon just to go in once you have 10 play points. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.